everyone. I'm here with a Bible reading. I hope you guys are having a good day. We're going to continue on from yesterday with Mark chapter 3, verse 31, reading through chapter 4, verse 25. Um, then we're going to read Psalm 37, verse 12 through 29, I think. I can't even read my own writing. I think it's 29. And Proverbs chapter 10, verse 5. Stop it. Okay, so let's get started with Mark. We'll be talking about the parable of the sower and a lamp on a stand. Then Jesus' mother and brothers arrived. Standing outside, they sent someone in to call him. A crowd was sitting around him, and they told him, Your mother and brothers are outside looking for you. Who are my mother and my brothers, he asked. Then he looked at those seated in a circle around him and said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does God's will is my brother and sister and mother. Again, Jesus began to teach by the lake. The crowd that gathered around him was so large that he got into a boat and sat in it out on the lake while all the people were along the shore at the water's edge. He taught them many things by parables and in his teaching said, Listen, a farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places, where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly, because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched, and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns which grew up and choked the plants so that they did not bear grain. Still other seed fell on good soil. It came up, grew, and produced a crop, some multiplying thirty, some sixty, some a hundred times. Then Jesus said, Whoever has ears, let them hear. When he was alone, the twelve and the others around him asked him about the parables. He told them, The secret of the kingdom of God has been given to you, but to those on the outside everything is said in parables, so that they may be ever seeing but never perceiving, and ever hearing but never understanding. Otherwise, they might turn and be forgiven. Then Jesus said to them, Don't you understand this parable? How then would you understand any parable? The farmer sows the word. Some people are like seed along the path where the word is sown. As soon as they hear it, Satan comes and takes away the word that was sown in them. Others, like seeds sown on rocky places, hear the word and at once receive it with joy. Like some people, when you first become a Christian, when you first like come to God and you're like really excited, you know, and you're really faithful and you wanna, you know, go to church all the time and tell everybody, and then, but since they have no root, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. You've got to stay rooted in the word. You've got to stay strong in your faith because if you don't, then when something bad happens, it's going, you're going to just let it go away and forget about God. You're going to blame God and be like, well, I don't care, I'm not doing this no more, you know. Still others, like seed sown among thorns, 
hear the word, but the worries of this life, the deceitfulness of wealth, and the desires of other things come in and choke the word, making it unfruitful. Others, like seed sown on good soil, hear the word, accept it, and produce a crop, some thirty, some sixty, some a hundred times what was sown. He said to them, Do you bring in a lamp to put it under a bowl or a bed? Instead, don't you put it on its stand? For whatever is hidden is meant to be disclosed, and whatever is concealed is meant to be brought out into the open. If anyone has ears to hear, let them hear. Consider carefully what you hear, he continued. With the measure you use, it will be measured to you. And even more, whoever has will be given more. Whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them. And that is where we're stopping with the book of Mark today. Okay, now we're going to continue on with our song from yesterday. All right, Psalm 37, verses 12 through 29. I did read my writing right. <laughs> so let's continue with this beautiful song. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash their teeth at them. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he knows their day is coming. The wicked draw the sword and bend the bow to bring down the poor and the needy, to slay those whose ways are upright. But their swords will pierce their own hearts, and their bows will be broken. Better the little that the righteous have than the wealth of many wicked. For the power of the wicked will be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The blameless spend their days under the Lord's care, and their inheritance will endure forever. In times of disaster they will not wither. In days of famine they will enjoy plenty. But the wicked will perish, though the Lord's enemies are like the flowers of the field, they will be consumed. They will go up in smoke. The wicked borrow and do not repay, but the righteous give generously. Those the Lord blesses will inherit the land, but those he curses will be destroyed. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall for the Lord upholds him with his hand. I was young, and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken, or their children begging bread. They are always generous and lend freely. Their children will be a blessing. Turn from evil and do good. Then you will dwell in the land forever. For the Lord loves the just and will not forsake his faithful ones. Wrongdoers will be completely destroyed. The offspring of the wicked will perish. The righteous will inherit the land and dwell in it forever. All right, guys, and that was Psalm 37, verses 12 through 39, or 29. All right. And ending today's Bible reading is Proverbs chapter 10, verse 5. He who gathers crops in summer is a prudent son, but he who sleeps during harvest is a disgraceful son. All right. That was our Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. Now let me, I did make the prayer list. Let me go through with that for you guys. Okay. Please keep the following people in prayer. 
Sherm, Cindy and Jim, Dora Carper, Rhonda Karshner, Layla, Donna Dunlap and Ray Dunlap, Elizabeth Jeffries, Abby Myers, um, Elizabeth Jeffries, Joyce Light, and Judy Thompson. All right, guys, if you have somebody that needs prayer, um, you can send it to my email at missycrabtree at yahoo.com, all lowercase letters. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, we'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless. Quit making fun of me for waving. <laughs>